All right, so the first thing we gotta do is reset your machine. So all you gotta do is hold the little house button for about eight to 10 seconds. Once that time has passed, you let go. The code for this is six, seven, eight, nine. Press okay. That will enter you into diagnostics mode. Then you'll go into device. Make sure that there's no like jobs on hold so make sure you delete every job beforehand scroll all the way down on device go to resets then you go to reset to factory defaults press reset and then the machine will restart and once it turns on uh, there's another process to do it and then from there we'll be able to change your admin password so once the machine fully resets it'll bring you up to this um this little pop-up you'll then you know go through the settings so for language you go english for network you go ethernet and then from after that you click next then you skip proxy server here this is all your personal preference so i'm gonna click next here measurements leave it in inches and click next ldap you skip after this one you're gonna have to disable all of these otherwise once you put next and all these are checked off, you're going to have to configure them and it's a whole hassle. So just deselect all of them, then click next. Now for this machine, it's already synchronized and already has the admin password set up to default. But once you get to security settings, you go to setup. From software update, you just click next and then it should pop up on your machine. It should pop up a prompt saying change admin password you'll then click change admin password the old password would be the the serial number of this machine and then the new password it could be whatever you want to be after that you'll probably click next and then go to security options here and then click next and after that the installation would be complete you click done and you should be able to be in admin